Shalom and good morning, friends. Welcome to Breakfast with me, Miss Beth. Thank you for joining me this morning so we can start our day with each other and Jesus. Today, I am having a pancake for breakfast. What are you having? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Let's get our hearts and our minds focused on God by starting today off with a version of Martin Luther's morning prayer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Thank you, God, through your dear Son, that with this Spirit, three in one, you kept me safe all through the night, and I awoke to see the light. Be with me throughout the day. Let nothing evil pass my way. May you be pleased with all I do. This life on earth, I live for you. My soul and body and all things, I trust to you. You are my king. Your holy angel, keep me near. The evil one, I will not fear. Amen. It is so great to start my day thinking about God. And to help me do that, I have my Bible and devotional, Breakfast with Jesus by Vanessa Myers. Today we're going to be reading another parable, which is a story that Jesus would tell his disciples and followers to help them better understand God and his kingdom. So we're going to open up our Bibles to the book of Luke. We're going to be reading from chapter 15, and we're going to be reading verses 1 through 7, the parable of the lost sheep. The tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were whispering among themselves. They said, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them a story. He said, suppose one of you has 100 sheep and loses one of them. Won't he leave the 99 in the open country? Won't he go look for the one lost sheep until he finds it? When he finds it, he will joyfully put it on his shoulders and go home. Then he will call his friends and neighbors together. He will say, be joyful with me. I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, it will be the same in heaven. There will be great joy when one sinner turns away from sin. Yes, there will be more joy than for 99 godly people who do not need to turn away from their sins. Hmm. I love this parable. It's full of joy and hope. Let's see what uh, Vanessa Myers has to say in today's devotional. She writes, Have you ever lost a toy before? Did you search for it? Or did you just consider it completely lost? and give up. If it's a toy you really loved, I'm assuming you would keep searching until you found it. But even though you searched for it and couldn't find it, you considered it a lost cause and gave up. Was it really that important to you anyway? I am so grateful that Jesus tells us that he will never stop looking for us if we are lost. We see this from the parable of the lost sheep. A shepherd takes out his 100 sheep. While he's out, he loses one of them. So what does he do? He leaves behind the 99 and goes in search for that one lost sheep. Why would he do that? Why does that one sheep matter so much? When he finds the lost sheep, he rejoices and asks his friends to rejoice with him. The shepherd wants to have a celebration because his one sheep has been found. He loves all his sheep and is so thankful they are back with him. In this story, Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. There may be times in your life when you get lost, which means you stop following Jesus. You stop praying, you stop reading your Bible, you are lost and separated from Jesus. I pray this will never happen to you but if it ever does, know this. Jesus will never stop searching for you. He will work hard at bringing you back to him. He will never give up or consider that you are a lost cause. Why? Because he loves you so very much. He wants you to follow him always and to trust him. 
What happens when Jesus finds that person who has gone away from him? There is a lot of rejoicing and celebrating going on in heaven. The whole kingdom will rejoice that they have been found and are back in the arms of Jesus. Heaven will be a big party because a lost person has been found. What an awesome reason to celebrate. Let's pray. Good Shepherd, thank you for never giving up on us, even when we do things that are wrong. Forgive us and help us to always follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, for our challenge, Vanessa Meyer says, is there someone you know that has recently accepted Jesus into their heart or has been baptized? If you do know someone, why not throw a party for them? Invite them and some other friends to your home and celebrate them coming to know Jesus. It's a great reason to celebrate. Wow, that is a fantastic reason to celebrate. And I hope that you can find someone to celebrate with who has found Jesus. Right now, we may not be able to throw parties, but we can write cards of congratulations and even give gifts or maybe a phone call. So let's celebrate, friends. We have a lot to celebrate when somebody finds Jesus. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you again next time. Have a blessed week, my friends. Bye!